friends, a lot of people out front shopping. We're in the back shopping. Let's try to get in and out of here real quick. We haven't stopped by since it's been raining. So hopefully there's some nice little scores that they've dumped. We're gonna get in and get out of here pretty quick this afternoon. Head on back home. Nice little lunchtime with the folks. So let's see what Office Depot got. All right, we gotta be a little quiet, but take a look at this. We got some action in there. Guys, another beautiful Serta office chair slashed. Beautiful. Serta office chair. Ladies and gentlemen, 5.41 p.m. And guess what? We're cleaning again. I'm not sure exactly what we're doing, but we're cleaning again. This thing is spot on fantastic. And I'm actually wearing the same thing. So it's like a repeat of yesterday, but don't worry about that. We are going to church in a little bit again. And then, of course, full dive night. Looking forward to it. My friends, we got back-to-back shout-out. Shout-out officially Sunday 1218 on 2016, the year. We're shouting out to my main man right here, Logan Dubs in the house. House, my friends nice little subscriber count that's what I'm talking about congratulations my friend let's bump that up to over a thousand Logan dubs sweet videos he got vlogs all sorts of good stuff go check him out subscribe to his channel give Logan dubs some love Merry Christmas my friend you have a wonderful day happy hunting all right guys I'm gonna take the folks on a little Christmas light tour let's see if it's still lit up Ah, wrong street. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, wrong street. Let's try this again. Here we go, Mama and Papa. Are you guys ready? Oh, oh so key, I see. <laughs> wrong street again. 10.39 p.m., ladies and gentlemen. Sunday night. We're not going diving quite yet. We're going to Taco Bell. Where? All your Mexican food dreams come true with your enchiladas, your burritos, your chalupas, and supreme nacho. Well, we might as well tie it in to maybe scoping out a little bit of action there. No dumping allowed. That's behind a restaurant. That's real nasty. You got to be careful of that. Let's go behind the home goods store, see if we got anything on the way to Taco Bell. We got a full night ahead of us. After Taco Bell, I'm going to go home and I'm going to watch a movie. After the movie, we're going to go for a night. Taco Bell, you're so dirty, but you're, you're so good. Well guys, I'm heading to my first complex. There's some hot action going on with some coppers over there. So it looks like they won't be on my tail for a while. All right, let's get going. Alrighty, complex number one. It's really windy right now. You can see the trees there flapping, but that's good. It'll kill the sound of my car idling and me digging in the can. Well guys, this is what I mean about never buying moving boxes ever. That looks, I mean, just off the top right there, you can't even see them all to the left there. That's easily $40, $45 worth of Home Depot moving boxes. Just tape them back up and you're good to go. Let's in, go in for a closer look. Just some Coca-Cola points at the first complex. Let's head to the next. Well, I just left behind an Easton baseball back backpack but check this out this thing blown over their little storage unit for like your clothes or whatever down there but it's so windy it blew over all right let's continue forward i almost forgot all about our haul we had over here on uh, last wednesday night then it rained where we grabbed that mac mouse and uh all the wii controllers and the bow speakers it's the first one right over here to the left so i'm right here live with you let's go ahead and pull up see if there's any more action in these cans I'm probably definitely gonna get out regardless. There's something on the ground there. It might all be trash, but we definitely need to scope it out. Well guys, I'm gonna show that to you in the garage probably tomorrow. That's a really nice blow up mattress inside a little uh, pull case there. <laughs> Actually, my cousin is coming into town for Christmas and we're gonna need a blow up uh, little thingamabobber. And check a look at that. They threw away one, looks like one reverse bulb or maybe a side blinker light as well. There were a couple little purses in there. Nothing to call home to mom about, so we left those. Definitely a sweet little blow up air mattress score. Definitely very, very windy. There's trash literally in the street flying out of the cans. 
I had a feeling that yesterday was going to be a little bit better than today. And my guess is if, well, if we don't find anything major, major today, it's because of the wind. But you never give up. You keep pushing forward. And all it takes, again, like I tell you many times, is one set of cans, not one complex, one set of cans can make your whole entire night. Well, it's not a Dyson vacuum, but it's one of those Swiffer things. My wife actually needs one of those, but I don't know where the purple little uh, bottle thingy is that goes to it. I'm not sure what else is there. It looks like newspaper kind of like thrown over. Let's go take a closer look, see if those are any good condition. My wife does want one of those uh, spray type ones. You gotta love it when someone throws away their old Nike size 10, baby. I can fit size 10. I'm normally a 10 and a half, but 10s will just do just fine. Definitely a nice little kitchen organizing unit for like bananas and fruit and all that kind of stuff. I don't think we have room, but let's go in for a closer look for sure. What? I can't believe I just found stand-up paddleboard traction. So sweet. Now I just need a stand-up paddleboard, but I'm definitely not gonna let that pass up. $94, whoa. Not to mention a whole thing of dishes, a brand new frame, a hose I need for my porch. Awesome. Well guys, we got a packed house tonight. Look at behind me. We got all sorts of stuff. And by the way, I took the metal shelving unit area right there. I do already have one next to my snowboard goggle case that you guys have probably seen in the man cave. But that one actually belongs to the owner of my condominium that we rent. And so when I move out, I actually have to leave that metal shelving behind. This is the exact same thing. And this thing's worth some bucks, you know what I'm saying? I think you can get them like on sale at Lowe's, Home Depot, you could probably get them, I think they're 60, 70, 80 bucks or so, ballpark, something like that. Might be a little bit more, but they are more expensive than your typical, like those uh, weird looking, holy, steely ones. Anyway, pretty good scores. We definitely have one complex left. We'll see how we feel after that. It is currently 3.10 a.m.
and gentlemen, had some sweet, sweet scores. Definitely worth going out and definitely worth battling that wind. We definitely have some action in the garage that we need to go ahead and sort through and check out. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. God bless you. God protect you. Remember to call radio, baby. Live a dream. I'll see you guys then. Later. <laughs>